ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we get a special honor and privilege. Uh, we've been called by the U.S. Air Guard uh, to go out over into southern Illinois, which is flooding really bad right now. Uh, they've got a lot of troops over there sandbagging, trying to uh, save people's houses and their businesses. Uh, it's strange because the, the water level is going down in Missouri, but going up in Illinois. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, the Air Guard has got a lot of people over there. The, uh, uh, the Army does as well. Again, trying to help, uh, help our citizens. And uh, they've had a passenger bus that got flooded out. Uh, one that they use to shuttle the troops back and forth. And we get to go uh, tow the bus in for them and see if we can not uh, get it fixed, diagnosed or fixed for them. Uh, but it's, it's an honor and a privilege to help give something back to the uh, men and women who serve our country. So I'm gonna go, uh, go into the flooded areas and uh, see if we can help them out for a change. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Mississippi River Bridge is closed to all but local and or emergency traffic. Uh, obviously, we've been authorized to cross the bridge. I haven't been across it yet, so I don't know if there is a checkpoint that we'll have to stop at or not.
right, here's the bus that we need to get. Now I'll have to figure out how to get turned around here. Get to go ahead and get the steering wheel locked down. I'm in unit number 10, which is a Peterbilt 337. With a Miller Industries Century 4024 20 ton towing and recovery unit. Had a lot of people ask me for more videos of it, so here you go. Here's one. All right, we got the seat tied, or sorry, not the seat. But steering wheel tied down. Good to go there. Let's see, no key. We'll need to be able to shut this door. Make sure I have access in the back. I do. I may be able to shut the door and close it from out here. Some of these buses are different, you just never know. Nope. There we go. Nope. It's going to work loose. Pretty much standard Bluebird bus, like I've towed quite a few of them. handheld remote but I really don't need it on this one all right now we'll get the uh, safety chains and the tie down chains Better grab my phone just in case. Hard to see in the distance, but they do have equipment working over there.
before so that if it should break away, it grabs into the throat of the hook, not this flimsy part of the safety clasp. There goes another one going through the water. from this angle you take the chain so that if it should break away pulls into the throat shows up to give us the key we put the uh, light bar on and secure the entry door we try to wiggle our way out of here stop arms or anything to have to worry about that's good Another one going through the water. Spring rides, we don't have to tie up the axle. We could, if we wanted to, to gain a little bit of extra height, but don't need to. Well, sir, you be careful. I'm gonna try to get wiggle out of here. Yes, sir. Try to tie this down somehow. Should have saved one of my long straps off of the steering wheel for that. Yeah, here's a long one. this so the doors don't uh, fly open and destroy themselves okay 
All right, try to get wiggled out of here. Stretch this thing out. So I got more wiggle room in between. At least until I get it turned around and headed in the right direction. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm good. I'm actually hooked up to the bus. I'm trying to get turned around down here. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. Yes, sir, I do. Not a problem. Uh, okay. Uh, no, sir. Not as long as I get turned around. I think I'm okay. Uh, I've got it hooked up and ready. Uh, I do need I do need the keys. Yes, sir, I do need the keys. Okay, sir, thank you very much. Uh, bye -bye. That was the lieutenant. He's running behind. But that's okay, as long as we get the keys, we're in good shape.
so we're not impeding what little local traffic there is. Didn't even take out a cone. Wonderful. Now we'll take this opportunity to recheck everything and bring the under each in here. I'll go through and walk around the hookup. Right now I'm waiting on the lieutenant to go get the key. The lieutenant has been here and we do not have the key. We need that to uh, be able to work on it. Anyway, I'll go over the hookup. Uh, we've got the underreach with the uh, medium forks on the main cross member. I've got my tie down chains double looped once around the cross member, once around the uh, uh, tow hooks. Have the breakaway chains wrapped around the frame at a different location and then uh, the chains routed so that if it should break away it pulls into the throat of the hook not against the clasp on both sides i have the steering wheel strapped down with two ratchet straps one on either side of the steering wheel got the light bar in place i also have the entry door locked because as you can see or i have it strapped because even though it's locked it doesn't want to stay this is July of 2019. We've been dealing with flooding of the Mississippi River since October of 2018. Right now the water is going down in Missouri, but coming up still in Illinois. Uh, and the military is over there working their best to try to help the citizens protect their homes and their businesses uh, sandbagging operations you know commerce is completely shut down over here um, you cannot get to anywhere in southern Illinois without going a long way around either to uh, uh, Cairo down through Charleston and up 57 or going all the way up to Chester Illinois Perryville and across 51 uh, and coming down the back roads and then even then once you get down in this area a lot of the back roads and even Illinois Route 3 and 146 are flooded out so there's areas that are not accessible except driving through floodwaters which is not advisable or by boat as you see I've, I've seen people in canoes kayaks boats um, <laughs> aircraft unfortunately there's some people who didn't make it if as you see the looks like a little ford pickup in the water down there wasn't as fortunate and these poor people are having to deal with this have been dealing with it for a long time and we've got a uh, uh oh my goodness have a tropical storm that could turn into a hurricane uh, that is projected to come up right through this area. If it keeps its current trajectory and current strength or builds in strength like they are projecting, uh, it will affect our area within the next week, which would only add to the floodwaters that we currently have. Uh, so, like to ask for prayers good thoughts well wishes for people that are currently dealing with the flooding the people that are dealing with the storms and we keep getting weird weird thunderstorms here too i mean just strange odd heavy heavy thunderstorms popping up of course it's been extremely hot uh we've had tons of rain ever since last october we're way over our annual rainfall uh just been strange weather I'm still here, Lieutenant. All right. You're hard to miss. I, uh, Thank you, sir. Let's open it up and we'll... Uh, okay. I strapped the door oh, okay. because it wouldn't... I can unstrap it. It's okay. not a big deal. 
because this lock wouldn't stay locked. You just dig a little, oh, okay. you just dig a little, little bit, and it pops open. I was gonna, I was gonna check to see if anybody left in there. Yes, sir. Uh, By all means, it, all I gotta okay. do is that right okay. there. Very simple. Just in case. Now they should have their stuff out of it, but I didn't look. I gave a quick walk through just to make sure everything was secure. That was just really all I did. But if I didn't take a look, someone would have left something. Bottles and some junk. A chair or a tent or something? That's like a cot. Okay. It's just a spare. We've got some. Okay. We're staying over at the college. And stuff. Okay. So. Well, thank you guys for all you're doing. Well, we're trying. We got uh, 60 more army men coming. Wow. We had, we had How many eight. you got currently? Well, we had we had 80 army. They left out this morning. Okay. They've been here for a couple weeks. Right. And then uh, we got 62 from the Air Force. We've been here a week. We're supposed to be here for at least two weeks. And then uh, we just got 30 more army today and we're getting 30 tomorrow. So we'll have 120 boots on ground. Wow. So yeah, they before we are considered even this place even safe, they want us to have sandbags that are 18 inches above the water level. Okay. We've got areas that are that far above the water level and the walls are already five and a half feet tall. Wow. So that other end of town is Nightmare. I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine because I mean, you look over in Cape and all the floodwaters have receded. Yeah. Like a, you wouldn't think driving across the bridge it would be like that. But I don't. I think if you're asking me as a person, I think there's a leak somewhere in that levee that had to have let go. Well, you've got the Ohio on one side, the Mississippi on another. You've got all that hydraulic pressure from both of them. Well, and that's just it. The hydraulic pressure is what's killing this town because we're getting all of this. Water's coming up out of the ground. Right, right. Um, if we, we had it, trucks this heavy, if they had sandbags in them, we were breaking through the asphalt and water was springing through. Oh. We're getting sand boils. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything's uh, the in front of the, uh, oh, the asphalt's giving way. Right. I mean, it's just, it's you can't stop it. It's coming up from under us. Well, in the, the major flood in 93, you're probably too young to remember it, but in the flood of 93, uh, right in front of our shop, we're, uh, we look at the diversion channel levee. Okay. Okay. And we were having sand boils popping up every day. The core was coming over, borrowing 55 gallon drums, trying to cap off the sand boils. And every now and then you'd hear what sounded like a cannon going off and you'd look and you'd see a oil drum flying Isn't 50 foot incredible? in the air. Oh, it's amazing. The, uh, the north end of town towards the church, we actually let water in and sandbagged it off and used the weight of the water to hold the road down. Wow. It was cracking up. The whole road was bowing up because there was no pressure on it. So we let right. the water through and it held it down. It's unreal. Well, thankfully, after 93, the Corps came in and uh, drilled relief wells all the way down the length of the diversion channel. And that saved us. I mean, because I fought the floods in 08. Okay. Uh, I was yep. down in Quincy when it was flooding. Right. Uh, well, here's the keys, sir. All right. So, um, yeah, you reach out to me. Yes, I sir. always have my phone with me. Um, and I've been in contact with the man who owns this bus in Springfield, Illinois. Okay. So I will let him know she's in your capable hands okay. and we'll hear from you. Hopefully right. it's electrical. I hope, I hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we hope so. Thanks again for everything, Ron. No, I sure appreciate thank it. Thank you for what so. you all are doing. Give you a call. Hopefully I'll see you again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Unbelievable. People want to put our military down and they don't see this side of it. Uh, they're trying to help save one of our towns. More than just that, but I mean, this particular instance, you know, they're here to save one town. Utmost respect. Utmost respect. All right, I'm going to make it back over to Missouri. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless. God bless our servicemen and women as well.